Laura, Michael, as you both stand before me today and in the presence of so many witnesses, I have to say that it's difficult to know who's going to wear the trousers in your relationship. <laughs> Laura. Michael. Oh. <laughs> and some of you may know the story of how we met. Um, for those of you who don't, we were 10 years old, we lived on the same street. Apparently Laura had a crush on me at that time, but she never showed it. She played hard to get even then. And it, and it was the same when we met up some years later. Our first date, I remember, she turned up uh, with a leather jacket on, with a collar turned up. and. <laughs> Just acting way too cool for me. <laughs> and she made me work very hard to impress her. Um, but my goodness, she was worth it. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Now, Laura can be quite dizzy at times. Put times, but it should have really stopped it. Laura can be quite dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> Now, a few years ago when Michael, he, had to, he went to an, an interview at an abattoir, Laura asked, <laughs> when he went to the interview at the abattoir, why do monks and nuns need a, an accountant? <laughs> My wife, my bride, my best friend, and my soulmate. To Mrs. Rimmer. To Mrs. Rimmer. <laughs>